In a recent interview with BBC Radio Scotland, the iconic singer Bruce Dickinson spoke with Nicola Mann about when he first saw Iron Maiden perform live and how he got the job as lead singer with the British rock band. Bruce explains. Well, the first time I saw the band, I mean, I was uh, I was in a, another band called Samson and we were all t- mm. kind of tour- touring around the same scene, the same clubs and things like that. So I'd heard a lot about, about Iron Maiden, but I hadn't actually seen them. So mm. one night, you know, we were, strangely enough, headlining and they were special guesting at this uh, club in, in London. So I thought, well, I better stand at the back and have a look at this lot then. And I thought, oh, my God, they're amazing. I mean, they reminded me of the energy and everything of, of like, sort of one of my childhood fave bands, you know, the, in, like, early 70s, like Deep Purple and stuff like that, you know, absolutely mm-hmm. raging on stage. And I, I remember thinking... Oh, I've got to sing for those guys. I mean, I know they've got a singer, but oh, oh, they really need me. Oh, my God, what we could do together. Oh, you know, anyway, it was going to be a year and a half before they parted ways with the singer who was there. And um, obviously, we were all aware of each other. I mean, the drummer in Samson the previous year had joined Iron Maiden. <laughs> so, so, so when we recorded an album next door to Iron Maiden, who were recording Killers. So we were in the same studio complex. So we were always having a beer and, you know, just chatting away. So we all knew each other. And so when they uh, decided to um, let Paul Diano, the previous singer, when they decided to let him go, they obviously um, didn't want to be found without a singer. (laughs) So they approached me after Reading Festival. I did a, a special guest thing where with Samson and um, the manager turned up in the audience was watching and Steve, uh, the bass player, was, was, was watching and he said, well, there you go, that's, that's what you get. So, uh, yeah, he invited me back to his hotel room. So yeah. uh, I'm sitting there in his, in his hotel room and um, he says, uh, I'd like to offer you the chance to audition. And I went, wow. oh, oh, okay, all right. And I've no idea, I mean, what was I, 19 years old or something like that? You know, a maiden already going to be growing, obviously going to be one of the biggest bands in the world. Mm. And um, and I remember saying to him, I said, um, look, mate, I said, let's not beat about the bush. I said, I said, you're offering me the chance to audition. I said, but you know I'm going to get the job. <laughs> so the question, the question is not whether or not I'll, I'll do the audition. The question is, do you actually want me when I get the job? I said, because I'm not going to be like the other guy. I'm going to be completely different. I'm going to have my own rules, my own stuff. I'm going to do things my own way. If you don't want that, just tell me now and I'll walk out. Wow. Well, there we go. Where, where did that come from? You know, I was like, <laughs> where did that come from? But when you're not 20, you're fearless, you know. Quite. So, um, I mean, I did obviously audition uh, for the band. So we went to a rehearsal room. We sang a load of Maiden tunes. And then we sang all of our favourite tunes that we all liked, that we all knew together. And, and it was great. And then... Uh, recording studio and they did a few checks and that I actually did sound like, like what they thought I sounded like. And um, then that was it. I came outside, you know, handshake, you know, God. none of this elbow bumping back in the yeah, day. Yeah, you know, handshake and a hug. And then uh, down to, uh, I think it was UFO, mm. uh, Hammersmith Odeon, and we all went back and we got absolutely bladdered in the bar. And the rest is history. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.